Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for past love, someone that you have history with. I will post a new love reading, so make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss it. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this past person feel about Leo? How does this past person feel about Leo? Okay, we have the emperor. We could be dealing with an Aries. We have the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords. Someone here feels like you don't care, Aries, um, or Leo. I don't know why I said Aries. I guess I was looking at the Emperor. Um, I see the Nine of Swords at the bottom. Th this is someone who feels like you have a big ego. Now, don't shoot the messenger when I say this, Leo. Someone feels like you have a big ego. Someone feels like you've just completely detached from the ending, um, that you don't care, that you're even kind of cold a little bit here. Now, if you're sitting there, Leo, and you're like, that's not me at all, that's this person, they could simply be projecting, right? But I feel like, yeah, this person views you in that way, but they also try to distance themselves from this because there's a lot of pain here, whatever happened between the two of you. Now, I do love readings. Love can obviously be romantic. This could be a friend, um, a friendship that ended. This could even be family, right? So just take it as it resonates. Sometimes readings can pick up on more than one person so use your intuition use your discernment there's someone here who feels like like there's qualities about you leo where you're a leader you say what, what's on your mind you're straightforward and there's so much good to that but this person also sees it as a negative at the same time it, it's funny it could have been the exact things that this person like said they liked about you i like that you know you're a go-getter i like that you're ambitious or like that you just tell people like straight to their face what they what you think but then when it came to you giving that energy to this person they're like oh i don't like that anymore um right that someone here feels like you could like attention there's pain here there is a lot of pain i feel like this person's creating some sort of narrative in their mind leo to kind of make you to kind of blame you here to sort of make themselves feel better make you like the bad person in this situation even though like and like any connection is two people it's two energies right i don't know what has happened between the two of you but in this person's mind you've hurt them right they they're not sort of looking at the flip side like how they could have hurt you I feel like this person just sees you as cold and detached and like you don't care. Um, anything else? They see you as a liar, someone who's deceptive. Now again, if you're sitting there, Leo, and you're like, that is not me at all. I'm not the liar, this person was the liar. Um, this could be their way of handling the pain, right? To sort of tell themselves and even maybe tell other people that you were the one that hurt them. You were the one that betrayed. You were the one that lied, that were sneaky or what have you, even if that's not true, right? Humans are funny like that. They, they will, they create a world in their mind and then it's their reality, right? So it's like this person just sees you as, like you have a lot of good qualities. You are a leader. You are you know um like a boss in some sort of way here very masculine energy coming through now it doesn't mean you have to be a male um it just means you you carry more this like very dominant maybe energy about you and so this person it's like they like that about you but they don't like when that energy is coming towards them so there's just a lot of like almost like animosity it feels with this person leo i don't know who this is or what happens let me know in the comments but someone here feels like they can't trust you. 
that you would just hurt anyone and everyone if you could. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Anything else for how this person feels? Knight of Wands, like you're a player, like you're hot and cold, like you, you played them in some way. I can't emphasize this enough because if you're sitting there screaming at the screen right now, okay, you've got it all wrong, that's not me, this person could just be projecting, right? They could have been inconsistent, they could have been hot and cold, they could have been a player, and instead they've told themselves that you are to help them cope with this pain, right? Um, instead of just admitting what they did wrong. So if this is someone who doesn't take accountability, yeah, that's coming through pretty strong here because there's there's this just this energy of it's like it's very much directed at you did this Leo you hurt me you betrayed you lied you act cold like that this person just sees it as like a one-way street right now um which you know doesn't mean it'll be like that forever but that's how they're viewing it currently so just be aware of that um for those of you who are like it definitely wasn't me who was hot and cold or like a player it was this person I feel like there was this energy of they thought they could get away with it is what I'm getting here. They thought they could get away with some of the things that they did. And I, I feel like you call them out for it. You put them in their place, so to speak. It obviously ended. And this person thinks about that a lot. Because I feel like if this, if this person does have a history or a pattern of doing whatever they want, whenever they want, they weren't necessarily called out the way that you called them out. Um, yeah, something you, you said or... Yes, there's like your voice like lingers in this person's mind. Something you've said. Um, <clears throat> so let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? The moon, Pisces energy, the wheel of fortune. Oh, wow. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. What the hell? <laughs> Tell me about the wheel. The Hierophant. Someone's switching up on you quick here. Now, I am so curious to see their intentions. Tell me about the moon. I am so curious to see this person's intentions because it looks like they can't... <laughs> This person cares more than you think and or maybe that you know or maybe you do know this but they just act this way. Now, YouTube doesn't like certain words, but I wanted to say they're acting like a D I C K. Um, I don't know if you said that to this person or you just say that in general. This person's acting like it's so funny. It's like how they feel is like you know, screw Leo, forget them. They're a player, they lie, they betray, but then their actions are completely different. Like they're, this might even be like them going back to their friends being like, Leo's this and Leo's that. And then they come towards you with completely different energy. This person wants you. This person wants your friendship, wants your love, wants to be in something committed here with you. That's why I'm so curious to pull their intentions because this does not line up with how they feel about you. You might be sitting there completely confused and be like, I thought you hated me. I thought you wanted nothing to do with me. I thought you said I was a liar or I was a player. And now here you are wanting something committed, wanting something long-term, wanting something where we can build on it. Like it, this doesn't make sense. This does not make sense at all. Help me understand this spirit, their actions, anything else. Justice and the Knight of Swords. We have Libra energy here. This is someone who feels like this connection, whether it was friendship or romantic, or even just like I said, family, um, it wasn't given a fair chance. This person feels like, I just heard something else got in the way. I don't know what that was. This person's switching up on you quick here. Like, it's like, they gotta talk to you. They gotta let you know, listen this isn't right, we should be together, we should try, or, you know, it's been enough time, or things have changed, or I can't, I can't stop thinking about you, or like my feelings are still here. I believe this person has feelings for you, 100% with this King of Cups, but I feel like they're, they're wishy-washy. I feel like this is someone who, you might even call it like mood swings, like this, this person is all over the place. Maybe that's why you, you know, disconnected from them in the first place. 
because they are this is this is the definition of hot and cold how they feel and what they think versus what they're doing in the next few weeks it's like what <laughs> this person doesn't like to be on your bad side this person doesn't like to have tension with you they don't like it to be rocky between the two of you so it's like they're coming back around to be like let's do this the right way let's be dedicated to each other you know there, there might even be some sort of energy here if it's not romantic of like come on we've been friends forever this is not what friends do or we're family family's supposed to stick together blood is thicker than water something like that like it feels like this person might even use like tradition or like values or even like religion here to be like come on like you know we're better than this kind of deal and maybe that is true for you maybe you're like okay yeah like i don't want to be you know in discord with this person either it's just so drastic from like what they were thinking and feeling about you leo so whether you trust it or not is totally up to you they are coming forward with a message here they do want to let you know that that they want you in their life um but i'm very 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 curious to see their intentions because this is wild to me this is like a, a complete 180 out of left field um so again we have aries gemini libra aquarius pisces taurus energy but if you don't hear their sign it doesn't mean that they're not here what is this person's intentions with leo what do they really truly want queen of wands four of wands ten of cups Six of Pentacles, the Moon again. Tell me about the Queen, the Seven of Cups. There's this person's keeping their options open, or again, they're just sending confusing messages. If you don't know this person to be talking to other people, it doesn't mean they have to be, but I just feel like they're very, very attracted to you. There's something here that pulls them in. There's something here that's like your energy is very contagious. It's very. Um, intoxicating it almost feels like for this person it might even be like when they drink that they kind of get all more cuddly and stuff with you this is someone who i feel like wants to take it to the next level here with you they do but they're confusing they're confusing they send mixed messages you don't know what this tell me about the seven of cups you don't know what is up and down with this person look at seven of wands and the ten of swords seven seven now it's like one minute this person wants to work on it. One minute this person's like, let's have our happily ever after. Or let's be friends again. Or they put the energy into it. But at the same time, they're like very defensive or might even like block on block you. They just go to end things again. Like this person's like, it's almost like they're trying to like get back at you here. There's like a piece of them that does want this with you, that does want to see where this could go, that wants to build something with you. But at the same time, they're always on the defense, this person. So this could be the type of person who, you know, you make a suggestion about something they did or you, you know, give your opinion and they, they're like, well, what do you mean by that? Or they get like super, yeah, like defensive like that. As much as this person wants you and wants this to work, they also think it's going to end anyway. And they want to be the one to end it first. They don't want to be the one to be left. Tell me about the moon. Wow. The moon clarified by the sun. Night and day with this person. That's your energy there, Leo. It's like you bring a, a, a lightness to this person's life. You bring a happiness, a joy. You... You almost bring their shadow side to the forefront as well. Like I said, you call this person out. You say and do things to this person that that they not, may not necessarily have in their life. Their friends or whoever, their past lovers or their family or whoever it might be, doesn't tell them about themselves the way you do. You bring the darkness to the light, being like, look it, you do some things that are not okay. And it's like, this. while this person appreciates you, there's almost like this... Um, energy of like they know deep down deep 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 down like they should work on these things they also don't is how this feels leo night and day with this person night and day if you're confused by them i'm confused by them and i'm sending you lots of love and light and clarity because <laughs> i don't know this just seems like it's all over the place but definitely wanting something here with you but to do what to go where is the question what's the potential outcome what's the potential outcome 
Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Oof, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. There's an acknowledgement here that the two of you could work really well together, like say in business, or you're both very career oriented, or you know, you could help each other in that way, or maybe just even be friends. You see how this King and Queen of Pentacles came out though? They're not facing each other. It's like maybe just tolerating each other, right? Is kind of how it feels because it just feels like the past is still here. It's like it's like, I'm always going to care. We'll always be friends or I'll always be, you know, your sister or your cousin or whatever it is. But like, you're not really, it's like, well, it's, it feels like tolerating each other is what this feels like. Could be an apology, right? With that page of cups. But I always say with the page of cups, the apology doesn't match what has gone on. It'll be like, fine, I'm sorry. And it's like, but like, you really caused some, some stuff here, right? Like you really stirred things up here, but it, it feels like, again, a lack of accountability, this could be just be the two of you focusing on your career too and being like, look, like we're not starting this up again. Even if you do apologize, it just feels like, could even be regret. Like, why did I let this person back in my life? Why did I, why did I answer them when they messaged? Or like, why did I even let anything go as far as it did? Tell me about the five cups, please. The two of cups. Why did I come together with this person? Yeah, the devil. You could feel really tempted by this person. You could feel really like there's like some sort of strong attachment you can't really explain. Maybe this is how this person feels about you. Why did I let this person in so deep? It just feels like a lot of regret. It feels like a, like the potential outcome feels more like, like I said, tolerating each other, maybe even ignoring each other here, but also like looking at the past and being like, why did I, why did I get this? Why was I so close to this person? Here's the thing, Leo, you only know what you know when you know it. Hindsight is twenty twenty, right? And everything's teaching you something. I feel like this is like a major lesson for you and for this person. They're just not integrating them yet. This person prefers to kind of like stay in the shadow side a little bit here. I have to be honest. So yeah it feels like again could be an apology here but it just it's it's I don't see it like a coming together of like oh we're gonna I, I see it happening in the next little bit but then eventually the potential is just like no like why did I even do this why did I even come together with this person this is my soulmate card so that you could feel like there's just like some sort of strong pull again with the devil at the bottom there you, it could be even be like an unhealthy attachment toxic in some way but you just there's something like you can't like get away from at least that's how this person feels about you too how will leo know who this is five of swords someone who plays mind games someone who could have sabotaged this someone who plays tit for tat like tries to one-up you is competitive or like even jealous here the fool, they always want to start fresh. They're always like, just leave the past in the past. High priestess, Pisces energy, temperance, Sagittarius energy, strength, Leo energy. You could feel like this person is really convincing, actually. This person could have made you question your intuition, though. You could have intuitively felt things and... <coughs> Excuse me, Leo. And... Um, they were really good at like convincing you to like just have patience with me or you know like this is just a fear of yours like, we'll just we'll overcome this you, you you know we can start fresh we can do this i don't know i feel like a lot of like getting like magician energy almost like this person like being really really convincing even like manipulative i don't know any advice for leo any advice judgment the eight of wands the page of wands if this starts up it's gonna go quick it's gonna go quick here i feel like this this second chance with this person or at least what they're hoping for is is a way for you to actually connect to your higher self here to be able to see the situation from like a bird's eye view like i've been here before i know where this is going two of wands three of wands yeah i already know where this is going here queen of cups love on yourself love on yourself set your boundaries Make sure you come first in this connection, whatever this is. 
I feel like you had a feeling that this person was going to come back around. Any hidden messages for Leo from this person? It's too late. I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. You and I were too young. So again, could have like extensive history with this person. I cannot give you what you want or deserve. I'm sorry. It's like, it's like as much as this person knows they can't give you what you deserve, they're also still not leaving you alone. But then they're like, it's too late. I've moved on. But they come back around. It's time for me to heal now. You came closer than anyone. I am not available. I hid who I really am from you. I can't stop thinking about you. You're on this person's mind all the time because something, something was different about you, about this connection. I was afraid that you would reject me if I shared my feelings to you. So this could have been someone who already decided from the get-go, I'm not gonna open up, I'm not gonna be vulnerable. Because what if Leo doesn't accept that? Or what if they reject me? Or what if they betray me? We got beauty queen shining on stage, adored. I mean, if this is you, because we got the king and queen of pentacles there in the, in the potential outcome, this is you shining. Keep doing that. Keep doing what you're doing. You got long distance, foreign themes, distant. Wallflower, limited potential, shy, withholding. You could have felt, like, as soon as I picked this card up, I got, you could have felt like you were more shy and like your potential was limited back in the day, like a different mindset. That's when you connected with this person. Sometimes people are like, people are only meant to see a version of you. They're not meant to grow with you. They're not meant to come along the ride with you. They're just meant to have that experience with you and hopefully it helps you both grow and then that's it. Communication, texting, phone calls online. This has got blonde female, lighter hair, laid back. And then you got twin flame, spiritual alignment, effortless karmic. Some of you could feel like this is a twin flame connection. I also see past love on the bottom in the past, past lover. This could be the runner coming back. If you haven't checked out my twin flame explanation check it out but just quickly the twin flame there's always a runner and there's always a chaser the runner has fear of intimacy scared to get close the chaser has fear of abandonment codependency issues scared to be left so there's this like an extreme connection when twin flames come together but they trigger each other and then there's always this separation and during the separation hopefully both of them are working on their their wounds but when the chaser stops chasing, because the chaser realizes, oh, I don't need the runner. I'm good on my own. I, they're working on self-worth, on their value. And chasing doesn't have to be texting and calling. It could just be thinking about this person all the time. When the chaser stops chasing, it triggers the runner energetically. And the runner's like, wait a second, where did my chaser go? And the chaser and the, and the runner comes back, right? Sometimes it's too late. Sometimes it, people have moved on, what have you. Sometimes they do reconnect just to start up the cycle all over again. So you could feel like that with this person. Twin flame journey is not easy. You got an opportunity. Now I'm loving that all this like money is flowing down on this. Oh, there's two cards here. And then you got be assertive. So there may be some sort of opportunity, especially with the king and queen of pentacles coming out, but you have to be assertive. But I also feel like be assertive with this person. I feel like I'm talking very fast. You might talk really fast with this person or maybe this person does. Um, you got choose a new direction and take action. I said not those. Okay, so let's see the Starseed Oracle. All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Um, Aries also got this, I believe. But that was their new love reading. So even if, but it doesn't matter if you have Aries in your chart, you're dealing with Aries, there could be a message there. At all paths lead home. No matter what's going on right now, you will find where you're, you're, you will end up exactly where you're supposed to end up. Leo. And then you got child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. So remembering how powerful you are. 
right? That you can have be do anything, that this obstacle, this person doesn't have to stand in the way of anything here. We got serendipity, number 18. And then we got between worlds. It was like kind of like flipped around there, but I'll do it in the upright. That's where it seems like it was it was supposed to land. So let's see, number 18. Serendipity. Perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one, yet it all fell apart. Consider this, sometimes synchronicity and serendipity come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. It can be really, you know, disappointing because you got that five of cups. Where is it? In the potential outcome, right? Regret, disappointment. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Right? Feeling like even like shame, guilt, like why did I do that? But Spirit's asking you to focus on the good, the silver lining here. Just because this didn't work out doesn't mean something won't work out at all. That this is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Really powerful messages. I just heard you are a queen. <laughs> now, could be you are a king too, but I did hear you are a queen. So don't forget that because you're... Um, Advice was to have that self-love, that compassion for self. Treat yourself how you would say, like a best friend. Okay, so I hope something resonates there, um, Leo. But if you still have questions, you can check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. But I am also giving away three free readings to three lucky subscribers for my 200k giveaway. Uh, thank you. I couldn't be here without you, but go to the community tab, scroll down a bit. The 200k giveaway uh, post is there. There's some rules there for how to enter the contest. Best of luck if you do. And let's see. Whoa, we got a lot. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, zip codes, postal codes, license plates. Take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got J, A, K, T, S, M, I, Q, I again, the number two, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Leo, so I hope something resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.